it should come as no surprise that I absolutely love my 2019 Tesla Model 3. And after driving it for about two and a half years or so, I think I pretty much know every part of this car. I know the ins and outs of the software and all the tips and tricks and little hidden features. I know about the hardware and how to do things and how to adjust things just right. For lack of a better word, I guess I know all about the Model 3's quirks and features, and I really love the car. But as much as I know about the car after living with it and driving it for almost uh, three years now, I still feel like there's one part that still is really mysterious, sort of like a black box, so to speak, and that is the battery. Specifically, what the health of the battery inside of my EV really is. And the battery inside of the EV, of course, is one of the most, if not the most important part of the car, and trying to really understand the battery health and the battery life and sort of just the general battery of an EV has sort of been tough to do, if not almost impossible, that is, until now. That's because in this video, I'm showing off a really powerful set of tools from this video sponsor, Recurrent. It is a really great website that gives you a whole lot of power and helps you unlock a whole new level of detail inside of your EV that really helps you understand your battery health, the uh, effects of your battery from charging, and really just allows you to have all the information you need to make really informed decisions about the EV you're going to buy, you're going to sell, or the EV you plan to keep in your garage for many years to come. Now, for those of you who haven't heard of Recurrent, let me introduce you to an awesome company that is looking to give you the tools and information you need to make proper informed decisions about the health of a battery inside of an EV you own or an EV you could potentially own. And Recurrent is just here to help you answer the important questions. Of course, I know that there are much more technical ways to really do a deep dive and really understand uh, the health of an EV battery from a scientific point of view. But I think that I and many EV drivers would agree that we really care about the health of a battery in the context of range. Specifically, how does weather and climate affect the range on my car? How do my charging habits today uh, affect my range moving forward? And what will my range be in my electric car two, three, or four years down the road? These are the important questions that Recurrent is looking to help you answer by giving you access to this important data as an owner of an EV and as someone who might be looking to either sell their EV down the road, trade it in, or if you're looking to buy a pre-owned EV, you really got to know this stuff, and this is where Recurrent is here to help. Of course, they work with all major EVs here in the US, Tesla included, and just again, help you make informed decisions based off the data. Personally, one of my favorite features of Recurrent, and I think something that you guys will really love as viewers of this channel and potential EV owners or EV owners as of right now, is their free monthly report tool. Essentially, you create a free account on the Recurrent website, you link your Tesla account through the Recurrent portal, and then Recurrent will automatically pull data from the car, the necessary data, to give you important insight into your battery. They're gonna pull things like uh, how far you're driving, uh, the charge level uh, that you're charging to, the temperature outside, stuff like that, to consolidate into one super easy to read monthly report that gives you a little bit of insight into the battery health and the battery life of your car beyond just the one range indicator you see on the dash. It'll also compare your data to the over 5,300 other EV drivers in the recurrent community so you can sort of see where you stand, uh, whether it's in line with the average, above average, below average. It's sort of a great way for all EV drivers to all sort of collaborate, come together, and anonymously share this data so we can all make the most informed decision possible. Again, this report is 100% free to run from Recurrent. It's all done automatically. All you got to do is sign up, create an account, and Recurrent will take care of the rest. And I thought sort of as an example here, I would run you guys through my monthly report from Recurrent to sort of see how my battery is stacking up to the average. And again, just as a sort of a data point here, I have a 2019 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus, and uh, my 100% battery charge when I took delivery was 240 miles. So 240 miles is the best of the best 100% charge of that battery. Let's see how my Model 3 is doing these days about two and a half to almost three years after I took delivery. So here we are on the recurrent website. I've got my last monthly report pulled up here. And just on first glance, I love how this is laid out. Uh, it's super easy to read. You can sort of see all this information sort of at a glance. And I love that they make it sort of visual and very easy to understand whether you are an EV enthusiast and you really understand the ins and outs of this battery tech, or this is someone's grandma just sort of looking to get an information and sort of an understanding of how these work. Uh, recurrent does a great job of sort of laying this out to make it really easy to understand whether you're an expert or a novice. 
so right at the top, I can see this is from September. I've got my 2019 Model 3 here, Santa Range Plus. Obviously, it is a battery electric vehicle. And then up here, a couple of interesting things to see uh, right off the bat is kind of my stats versus the fleet. And you can currently see there's almost 5,400 cars in the recurrent fleet. So over the month, there were 83 different data points collected, 44 average daily miles driven by me per day. We can see that the charge of the car uh, observed by recurrent went from 12% all the way up to 100%. And the average temperature here in Orange County, California, ranged, of course, from 95 to 61. Orange County weather is pretty good, but sometimes it could be all over the board. All right, so let's scroll down here just a bit and let's see some insights into my range. So first, we can see that my 100% charge these days is 217 miles. It is no longer 240 miles. It is now 217 miles, and hopefully we can dig into uh, why that is in a bit. Uh, we can see that obviously the temperature is going to affect the range. So if I'm in a colder climate, I might lose a little bit, maybe 216 miles, a little bit warmer right there in the middle at 41, I can get 217 miles, basically get the full range. And then the hotter it gets, I obviously will lose a little bit. That's about 215 miles. So just kind of showing you how climate is going to affect the 100% or maximum range you can get inside of an EV. I can also see here my three-year projected range. So in about three years, it's probably going to drop a little bit more at my current habits to about 213 to 214 miles. Not too bad. And of course, my original EPA range for this car was 240 miles. So 240 miles in May of 2019. I'm at 217. Uh, obviously, some of that was due to a lot of supercharging, but again, we'll dig into more of that in a bit. And I can also see based on my range, kind of where I can drive. I can drive basically across the greater Los Angeles area here in LA County, Orange County. This 217 miles of range is not as good as it was when I first took delivery, but it's still plenty for all around this area here in Southern California. This next graph is super important, and this is your charging insights. And this shows you where your battery charge should be if you want to sort of increase the longevity of the battery health and basically give you the healthiest battery for the longest amount of time. As you can see, I have some work to do. So over the last month, there were 83 observations taken of uh, sort of the state of charge of my car, and only 59 of those were in the target. And basically, this green band is the level of charge you want to be at to sort of increase, again, the health of the battery and make it uh, as healthy as it can be for the longest amount of time as possible. And that's basically between 30% and 80%. And as you can see, I was sort of all over the board here. My average was right around, it looks like 60% was the average my battery was at, but sometimes it was all the way up at 100 when I was charging to go on some longer trips. Sometimes I got it all the way down to as low as like, what, 10, 20%. As you can see, it was sort of all over the board. And I'm not doing a terrible job, but I'm also not doing a great job here. Uh, I definitely had some outliers here that are going to sort of negatively affect uh, the long-term effects of my battery. So I need to make sure that I stay more in the green band. I need to just set my charge to 80% as the maximum or even take it down to 70% and not go any further than that. But as you can see, sort of just living with the car, not adjusting anything, just to kind of give you a sense of my real world usage, I definitely was an outlier on more than one occasion. So basically bringing down that state of charge, not charging it to 100% all the time or even above 80% is going to increase the health of my battery moving forward. So a really good uh, bit of data here that I can learn from and change my charging habits uh, because of that uh, to make sure that my battery lasts longer and is as healthy for as long as possible. Next up, I can see some historical insights on the battery itself and sort of how it compares to the other uh, vehicles in the recurrent fleet. So my car was manufactured in January 2019. That's the estimate that recurrent gives me, which I think is pretty close to accurate, if not being accurate. Uh, the age of the battery is about three years at this point. And then the battery life it has remaining is about six years or about 81,509 miles. And then we can sort of also see where I am in terms of range as opposed to other uh, similar vehicles. So I'm sort of near the bottom here. Again, I did a lot of supercharging when I first got the car, which definitely added to some degradation. And I'm sort of sitting near the bottom while more cars, or I guess similar cars, uh, have a much better range of up near 240 or up uh, above that. So as you can see, the battery is not horrible, but it's definitely below average. And uh, I need to do some uh, tweaking on my end with the uh, state of charge to hopefully increase that and get it more in line with the average. But this is really helpful to see sort of where I lie uh, and how I compare to other similar vehicles in the recurrent fleet.
And last but certainly not least, we have some market insights on the car, which is especially kind of important right now as the used car market is sort of white hot here in the US. And there might just be a way to sort of sell my car and maybe even make a profit. So as of right now, it says the estimated market value of my car is about $48,154, which is pretty good. Also up 2% versus last month. And then I can kind of see the market trends in the US for the 2019 Model 3. So I can see the number for sale has gone up from August to September. There is about 37% more being sold. I can see the minimum price has stayed uh, right around the same at $25,000 for the minimum price, and the maximum price has increased to about uh, $68,600. So again, there's going to vary on paint color and options, stuff like that. But as of right now, I definitely think I might be able to actually sell my car for more than I paid for it, and I do find it just fascinating and really interesting to sort of look at this and see, hey, if you want to know how uh, your car compares to the market and if it's a good time to sell or not a good time to sell, Recurrent is also going to help you with that and kind of show you how your cars compare. Uh, with the current trends here in the U.S. and uh, the used car market as a whole. So you can make an informed decision on whether you want to keep the car, sell the car, basically giving you the data you need to make an important informed decision. In addition to that, though, Recurrent also has some other tools available for free that allow you to really understand the battery insights to buying a pre-owned EV because that's sort of the other part of this equation. As more and more EVs go on the road and as more pop up in the pre-owned market, a lot of people are gravitating to pre-owned EVs for the first time. But again, as you sort of learn the ins and outs of the car, it can be very easy to sort of just brush off what the dealer tells you is the maximum range. You really don't know the insights of that battery. You don't know the health, but thanks to Recurrent, you can run a free one-time report and really understand how that pre-owned EV battery life really is and how it stacks up to the rest in the fleet. And this one-time report is super helpful. You basically just put in the VIN number or you put in the license plate information, you upload a couple of photos, key in a couple of key details, and in a few minutes, you have access to this really nice one-time report, which lets you know what the maximum range is going to be like, how this battery health sort of compares to the rest of the fleet, and allowing you to kind of know how this battery compares and how it's going to last in the long term. And taking this a step further, Recurrent also offers this as a paid service to dealerships as well, basically allowing them to run these reports in bulk for all the EVs they've got on their lot. This is really nice. I feel like something that all uh, dealerships should do when you sort of take delivery of a car, sort of getting a health a checkup report on the battery life of that car, especially important again for pre-owned EVs as well. So if you are a dealership and you're looking to sort of take your statistics to an, uh, the next level and sort of give your customers real clear insight into the health of the battery of the EV on your lot, then check out Recurrent, of course, at the link down below and get started. There's always this talk about battery degradation and range anxiety, and I've always really just wanted to understand more about sort of the long-term health effects of the battery inside of my EV, and Recurrent just makes that so simple, so easy. It's 100% free for us end users, and uh, we can get on there and run those one-time reports or get those automatic monthly reports and really start to understand the batteries inside of our EVs and be confident in our decision-making thanks to the data that Recurrent is providing. Uh, I just really think it's awesome. And if you guys want to check it out and learn more today, sign up, which I recommend you do. Hit that link right down below, learn more, sign up for your current account and learn more about Recurrent and the awesome uh, mission of that company. And again, a big thanks to Recurrent for sponsoring this video. Thanks so much guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm Robert Rosenfeld and I will see you all in the next one.